Okay, so we're going to look at how to take your empirical formula that you found and how to then figure out what the molecular formula is from that. So empirical to molecular is super easy, right? Super duper easy. You have, I'm assuming you've already found your empirical formula, okay? So if there was a question that went through beforehand to have you solve for the empirical, I'm assuming you've already done the steps, you know, to, to find your empirical, and now we're just going to go empirical to molecular. So if you need help finding empirical, go back and do that one, all right? Now, uh, so I'm assuming that you do have your empirical formula, and now we just need to calculate what our molecular formula is going to be. Basically, there's just three steps to go from your empirical to your molecular formula. And I think it'll be easier if we just do it with an actual example, okay? So if you had a problem like this, you have the empirical formula is CH2O, and it's found that the molecular mass is 180.18 grams per mole. And then it will ask you to find the molecular formula, okay? So the very first thing we do, rule number one, this lovely page, okay? Calculate the mass of your empirical formula, okay? Easy. So I need my mass of my empirical, CH2O. All right, so each carbon is 12.01. Each hydrogen is 1.01. There's two of them. 2.02 and one oxygen is 16 add it all up for a number I've hopefully already solved for there we go 30.03 because I apparently can't add in my head okay so 30.03 grams per mole would be the molecular mass of my empirical formula okay then step number two divide your molecular mass by your empirical mass Okay, and if it's confusing of which one to put on top or on bottom, put the big number on top, unless they're the same number, and then you end up multiplying by one, and that's easy, okay? But in almost, they never give you that, okay? That would be like a ridiculous trick question. You want the big number on top because you want a whole number, okay? So you don't want to put the small number on top and divide by the big number. You'll get some kind of decimal. Bad, bad, bad. You want to put the big number on top, okay? Just in case you forget which one. So... We're going to take our molecular mass that they give you. They have to give you that in the problem. Okay, so I'm going to take 180.18 divided by the number I just solved for, 30.03. And I get, beep, boop, beep, in my calculator, 6. Yay! Okay, so now step 3. It's going to be really easy. You just multiply all the subscripts on your empirical by that number to get the molecular. So I started with CH2O, now I need to multiply all those subscripts by 6. Okay, so C1 is going to become C6, H2 becomes H12, and this will be O6, aka glucose. Okay, so that's it. That's how you go from empirical to molecular. Easy, easy. I have another example. You don't need to see it. You know how to do it. All right. Good luck.